in a minute. Um, one thing I really don't like is just telling what you've been eating on it because you can see all the grease that builds up on it. Another thing I don't it doesn't bug me that much unless I accidentally do it. It's by the the two corners by the trackpad where your finger goes and lifts it up. It's kind of sharp, which a little bit of hazard, not that big of a hazard. The charger, the MagSafe. If it would have been like the one from a few years ago, I believe 2013. If it would have been small and thin and the cord came out this way, like the old ones did, it would have been a lot better. I thought Apple was supposed to be thin in that. Um, but, I mean, I like it. Nice to know, just at a glance, but if your computer's fully charged or not, unlike uh, Windows, where you actually gotta open it and look. But, would have saved a little bit more space. Um, that's basically what I don't like about a Mac. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some of the things I think are kind of cool about a Mac and when things are kind of annoying to me. One, um, when you go down to the, your, uh, dock, when it's hidden, if you go down, it takes a few seconds for the show. Um, and hidden hotspots. That's cool, but if someone walks by a computer, it turns on. So what if you go to the bathroom and there's someone you don't want going onto it? It turns off. Okay, good. You move the mouse a little bit, someone bumps it, it turns back on. What do I do about that then? They can, and there's no lock. Now I know if you go up here, then you can, you know, you can now set the, just go to a, um, not sleep mode, but a, I don't know, see I just bumped my desk and it went back. But you can switch this to however you want it. But then, like I said, just bump my table again. And it comes back on and move the mouse. One thing I like about it is, you move the mouse, whoa, big goes the mouse. I can find it easily. Um, kind of find this annoying. Like if you, use, especially using the magic mouse from this last year, if you can, if you accidentally two finger it the wrong way you get this which I mean it's cool you get your little calculator quickly and boom there you go and then back to where you were but now I really I am loving this Mac it's just kinda annoying to me sometimes um uh, there are some good apps on this though like helicopter squadron extreme planes RC mini race didn't really figure um, the touch grind out the head soccer didn't figure that out too well um fantastic roll free it's okay solitary I don't really understand it. I used to play satire real well. The checkers is okay. The burp and fart piano is awesome. I used to know a um thing. Okay. Don't remember it. It used to be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here, maybe I can do it now. Yeah, and then they have a real nasty one, um, 
Happy birthday for East I believe they have Here comes the bride Here comes the bride Um, one thing I do find handy though Is the shortcut that quit Which is command Q And it automatically quit Google Chrome on here It's okay It's not the best thing But it's okay Bad news is though, when you go to, if you have Google Chrome, you know that as you go up to the three lines, when you're at the um, new tab, you click on that and you go to the full screen, it only does this. This top part up here, on other computers, that disappears too. But this stays up. There is one thing I'm loving about this. And that is the fact of the force touch trackpad. Now right now I'm not using it because I'm at my desk. But. You know. It's good for when you're on the go. I haven't really got the um, handle on force touch. That well. So I have it set the tap with three fingers. Uh, the part I don't get is like if you have a link. So if I go to my blog here. So let's say I go to my blog. Let's go YouTube. Go to my channel then. When I click on the link to my blog. Now I'm going to do this with the force touch. Um, set the three fingers. When I tap on the link with three fingers. It's supposed to pull me up a preview. It looks up a word. If I if I still force click, it takes me there and gives me a definition. So that doesn't work for me. Um, quick shout out right now. No, we're getting off track again, but um, this is my old page. I'm still posting videos to this. This video is actually under it, but I have another one that. Um, first of all, we got a new blog. It's now called Jacob Studios. If you've been looking at my blog, uh, My Train Life, it's the same one. It's just um, renamed, redesigned, and new stuff under it. Um, we got the Google Plus up still. We got Southside Trains out still. And this one, I really hope you guys can help me with this. This is a... So if you go to this little purple paper thing and you click on that, it's going to take it to this. It says, do you like my channel? This form is to see what you think of my, about my channel and what should I do. All these questions are required if you're taking it. But... So all the questions are is what do you think of my channel? What would you rate my channel? One being great, five being terrible. There it is, one to five, you'd click on that. I'm not going to though. Uh, what could I change? Tell me what I could change. Would you come back? Yes or no. Would you tell a friend? Yes or no. Would you please subscribe? Yes, no, or maybe. So far though, when I go under this, and I hit leave this page and I click on responses no one ever responds is it just no one likes to go under the tabs here um one thing though our second channel that I'm op creating I'm just working on it I gotta go over to this channel now it's we got our one video two hours ago I posted this it's the good the bad the despicable um this is a new channel it's just the what Jacob Studios the not really a company but like a friend based group that we do we make videos off of that just started earlier today so hopefully that kicks off good but so 
Um, yeah, this is pretty good. Still don't understand that. But it's awesome they have this. When you go to like um uh what was it? If you go to mouse this kind of is a dap. Now I like this where if I go somewhere and I hit w one finger, might not because I'm not here. But yeah, I had this. Okay, so the mouse you're seeing there, that's the one I got. I have one problem with it: the plug for it, the charge it. Okay, awesome. Same one I used on my phone, but it takes a little while to charge. From when I hear because I never charged this yet and I had this for about three four months now never had to charge it once um but apparently I need to be under five minutes in each shot but okay but it's underneath it on the bottom now on the back I can understand like not underneath the, on meaning back like on the like the side where the apple logo is in the back part that okay I may not understand and that's being a pain too the how I said but I've had this thing for about three or four months now I said never charged it once always have it on only 35 percent if you don't carry this mouse around with you and use it 24 7 they say the battery lifetime on this so you have to recharge it is about 10 hours I believe so if you're on the computer just using this all day okay you might be in trouble if you work a 12 hour shift 2 hours you're gonna work without it that's not that bad though I use a wireless mouse when I'm not using it never changed the batteries yet 70% Apple, you are doing good. I did not even know about this until now. I'm gonna click that. Use all F1, F2, etc. keys as standard function keys. When the option is selected, press the FN key to use the special features printed on each key. Now that is actually kind of cool. But one thing I don't like is I'm not going to click on it because I'm going to show you all my family's text and that. But I get my family's text for some reason. Awesome. No. My phone dings all the time then. And there's that magic thing again. Like, it's annoying once in a while. Okay. One thing I don't. Kind of gets annoying with me is I cannot burn a disc with this for some reason. It will not let me.